welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147. And I've finished my latest succulent picture. So this is just a 30 by 30, or in fact a little bit smaller. Um, this was by Fan Cells, and it does have a lot of white, but it's finished. Um, now, I'm not sure where, if anywhere, at the moment that this is going to go um, until I finish my full decoration um, and finished a few bits around the conservatory and the house before I decide if it's going up on the wall. So, what I'm going to do for the purposes of keeping this safe is I am going to put it in my usual storage. So I have some A3 display folder binders that I picked up from the range here in the UK um, for $3.99. And that's where I tend to keep all of my diamond paintings that are 30 by 40 or smaller. Um, and I keep them in there until I decide what, if anything, I'm going to do with them. Because I just enjoy the process more than anything. So I'm going to get this one popped onto a sheet of card ready to go in there and then I need to de-kit my diamonds. So this kit did come with DMC numbers which means I can put the diamonds away into my spare storage. Hopefully already having baggies for them because if not I've left my, um, yet again, I've, I've left my stickers and stuff in the other room. So, I'll see, I do like the way black makes it pop. I just get a pair of smaller scissors. Oh, and I did think that this tape was close to running out. So I'll put that smaller piece in the middle. And then I do have another one. Again, I just picked these up from the range because they're a pound. Um, I was in Hobbycraft the other, well, last week before they shut. But that double-sided tape has gone ridiculously expensive. I used to pick up a roll for a pound and now it's 2 99 or something it showed it being as. I went to pick one up and I was like, nah, not paying that. But we were going to the range anyway, so I picked up one of theirs instead. And it only cost me a pound, so that worked for me. So, about there looks roughly in the middle. So, I like to sort of get it lined up when I'm not fighting or dealing with any type of sticky. And then I like to peel off the top and flatten that down before I then peel off the rest and get it in place. It does allow me to still pull the tape off this if I need to or I can always use the piece of black card for a bit of rigidity and I can always cut round it before I maybe put it into a frame. I've got a few different options but I pick up these sheets of card from the range as well. They're in a pack of like 25. So I'll pop that into my little wallet later. But I do need to de-kit as well. So I'm going to grab my box that is 100 to 600 with my nice new pretty labels that makes de-kitting so much nicer. Um, and the first one is 163, which of course I only have in square. So before we've even really got going, I'm going to pause you and I'm going to go and get my circle labels. Okay, should have known that was going to happen before I even started it because I mentioned it. So I've got my baggies, I've got my circle label stickers, which they were in my little mini cart that I use for diamond painting, which is currently in my conservatory. So. 163. I've not got too many of them left, but quite a few of the greens. There wasn't that many of them to start off with, really. So it wasn't too much of an issue. 
but I'm going to pop these on. This um, pen that I like to use, it is nice and bold, but it does take a little bit of time to dry. So if I can let it dry in my pot of spares and don't risk smudging it, all the better, in my opinion. That label came off quite nicely. We'll have a few more like that, thank you. I'm just going to grab from my little shelf above a little pot for any rubbish and stickers. So 317, I do have that. I have a few different shades of grey in here actually. And again, I only have a few, but I never felt that I was about to run out of any colours that I was using because there was a few colours that did only need a few of each diamond. Okay, so 369. Oh, that looks like it's another new one as well. So, no, I want to write that last. So let's pop the these then. I'm actually wondering if that's one I don't have on my, oh. So I have also recently filled in the rest of my diamonds that I have on this colour card. And in turn with that, if I haven't got the square version, but I have got the round, I've been putting the round on. And for this one, I've not had either. So what I'm actually going to do, just to be a bit different, if I can find myself a little tray. Okay, I found myself a big tray, that'll do. <laughs> Um, is I'm going to fill this in as well because this will just help with a de-kitting that is coming later on this week with a diamond painting that does not have DMC numbers. So this is the only one of this that I've got. I haven't yet decided if I will replace them with squares as and when. I haven't yet decided on that one. Um, for 163, I did actually have that green in squares, so that one has already been filled in, but this one hadn't. So we've just updated that as a little sidestep, and then we'll put the rest of these into here. I am on a roll with new colours for this one. Okay, so let me move that tray out of the way. I'm getting too much stuff in my way now. Three, six, nine. Oh. Quite a few different colours coming out on this one. I'm going to move that pen out of the way as well because I don't need that. I don't think I'm going to need the scissors either, am I? I don't know, maybe. I'll keep them close, but I'll move them out the way. Okay, so let's see how we go for the next one. 413. Oh yes, we definitely have this one. This is a dark grey. This is apparent on quite a few. In fact, I think a cross stitch that I'm about to start also includes this grey. It's a very popular grey as far as greys go. And of course this label is being a pain. I will probably give these a little bit of a go over with Goo Gone once I'm done, just to make sure that any of the lasting bits are out of the way. And then at 453, so that's the first one here. So I have 453 in square, but I don't in round. We're all for the new round colours today. Now, I know it's on my DMC chart because I have it in square. So there's no need for me to check my chart on that one and see if I can fill in any more gaps because I've been doing this for a few years now and I still don't have every single DMC colour. I still get a nice surprise from time to time. 
So, oh, try not to get my too much of my head in shot. I may have put a box on my hair dye box on my head recently, but it doesn't mean it's the best thing to look at. Okay, 501. Are we on another first? We are. Do I have this on my DMC colour card? I do. So that must be in my Heaven and Earth Designs 501. Because that's the only reason I wouldn't have it in my spares box, but I would have it on my chart. Is if it's actually a colour I'm using in my Heaven and Earth Designs. But I can't believe how many I haven't had. That's quite a few. So 501. I'll pop that in there and then I'll dry while there. And let's have a look what's next. 503. 503 I have in square but I don't have in round. We are well and truly on a roll. All the firsts. I suppose it is because there is so many different shades of green that we're obviously hitting them all. Five, zero, three. Made my five look more like a five. So I've got them now in round and square. Okay, 504. Oh, I have those. I felt like I was going to be writing labels for every single set of these then. But no, we have 504 already. Which is a little bit easier. It's definitely quicker when you've already got the card to put in and then we've got five six four five six four I only have in square so we need another and this is another shade of green because I have it in square I know I don't need it on my DMC chart so I'm not even gonna look because that's only recently we've been done so five, six, four, or recently been completed. It was started ages ago, but I never actually got to the end of it. Okay, so my next number is 712, and that means I need the next box because this one only goes up to the 600s. So this is my 700s to 900s box. I have tried to get the same I did try to get more of these photo boxes because I feel like they match my craft room slash conservatory a little bit better. But Hobbycraft seem to be out of stock of them and never seem to be coming back. I think they've been discontinued. Which is pants. So I guess I'll either have to keep an eye out for a colouring that I like that I can get all four in. or just deal with what I've got. For the moment, I'm dealing with what I've got. If I ever see them, I'll make the decision at that time. Okay, so that's that one. And then 823, I should have this one. This one is, oh yes, this one is a blue. It's a colour I recognise straight away, or a DMC number I recognise straight away. Partly from cross stitch, but mainly from a lot of diamond paintings. It's sort of that blue after 939. Dark blue, but not really, really dark. It's always the 823. Get hold of it. And speaking of that, here now is 939, which is the really dark blue. And I know I've got that one. In fact, I've got two bags of it for rounds because I have that many. A very, very popular colour in diamond painting, or at least it is in the ones that I've been doing. I don't know whether it's... I wouldn't say... I try and vary up my paintings quite a bit. 
I know I do have a few themes that I particularly like and I go through phases of ones that I really like. Oh, 989. That's another green and that's a new one. And I'm just going to have a look and see if I need it on my other chart. What are we on? 989. 989. No, I must have that one in my Heaven and Earth designs because it's already on my colour chart. So we'll just create a new little baggie. So I'm just using a piece of thick paper. It's a little bit thicker than normal printer paper, but I'd still class it as paper rather than card, though you can use thin card. Just to help the bag stay upright. And then it's 989 on a round sticker because it's a round diamond. That's the way I like to work it. And then I need to find 989 again. There it is. And that's the last of my 900s. So my battery's flashing on my camera. So I'll get that changed before we move on to the 3000s. Okay, so time for the 3000s. Only got a few left on this one to do, but we've got 3072. Oh, that one's not in there. That's quite a popular colour as well. Um, I'm just going to check. No, it's definitely one that I have already got in square because it is on my DMC chart, but I mustn't have got any in my round so far. Yeah. I remember having this on quite a few square paintings, so maybe I've just not done quite as many round diamond paintings as I think I have. Okay, 3072. 3072. That's that one done. Make sure next time I deke it around, I make sure my circle stickers are here. Okay, 3756 is this one here that I have a huge chunk of squares and then just one bag in rounds. That was because I did a New York City ski, ski, ski skyline scene um, that I got as a custom from Ever Moment, and that was the background colour. So most of those diamonds are my spares from Ever Moment. I'll get round to using them off eventually. Okay, and then we've got three seven nine nine. Not 779, 799. Not to be confused with each other, which is what I often do. So 3799, which is a very dark grey. It's the only number that really always confuses me between the two. Is to remember to say two sevens instead of two nines or two nines instead of two sevens, depending on which way around it is because they're both very popular colours. Okay, 3816. Oh, this is not looking likely either. No, that's another one that I don't have any of. We are definitely seeing a theme for this one. Just trying to make sure that my boxes and spares Try and stay a little bit organised. Okay, so I'm just going to have a look on my colour chart. What was it? Three eight. They're three sevens. Here we go. Three eight one six. Yes, I do have that in already, but of course I don't have it in my spares box. But looking at it, the next one, I think that's one that I actually need on my chart. But let's deal with this one first. So, 3816. Let's get this one away. 3816. So that's 3816. And then the next one is 3817, which I don't have. I am going to need to do another bag for this, but 
I also don't have this on my colour card sheet. It's actually 3817 in the middle that I need. So let me just see if I can get the top off this tape. So there's a whole strip of double-sided tape that is put down the edge of this. And then what I did was I just took my craft knife and scored every single one so that I could remove them each individually as I was going through my spare diamonds. So I'm just gonna say, I just tend to use the round on the odd occasion I don't have it in square. I may decide to replace them so that they'll all be square eventually. But I'll play that by ear as I go along, of course, depending on how much I use this going forward. So let's tip those in there because then it's, oh, and that sheet is all completely filled in now. Well, as much as it can be. So let's move those out of the way. This is the only thing with doing multiple things. Sometimes it's like, okay, where was I? Which is why I'm glad all my spares box has been sorted now. And I'm not trying to do multiple things involving my spares box each time I put some away. But of course, I've managed to pick something else up. So 3817. We'll get that popped in. Come on, there we go, 3817. Okay, then we've got 3865 all the way to the back. I should have that one, and I do. I have two bags of it. And in fact, that one looks fuller. Let me use the other bag. See, look, I've got a lot more spares of this because this was the background colour. Let's see whether it's actually all going to fit in. Just very close to needing a new bag for this one. But I've got them in. So that'll work for me. If I can get them to fit, I can get them to fit. Okay, so that's that one done. And then 3866, which is behind it. I do have those, just a few. So I can add in these, which are actually a different colour. Slightly different shade, but it doesn't interest me anymore. If that's the colour the company say they are, then they're going together. Because if and when I need a spare, I can figure out which one is the closest match to the company I'm needing it for. Okay, so I can now pop my well-used stickers back into their passport holder and I don't need my little inserts on my bags. I just need to, I stuck a little circle label on naming it succulent because I actually put the diamonds for three different paintings in the, the one storage container, which is this one. All three diamond paintings went in this and each one took a tray. So I did make sure I labelled them so I knew which one. So the last thing I need to do is use my Goo Gone, which if I can get in it, there we go. Always takes me a minute to get in it. So just to get in and then I just need to wipe over each of these bottles just to make sure that any of the lasting residue is gone and then I'll wipe them over with a cloth as well just to wipe off any residue of the goo gone once I've finished but yeah I'll get those wiped off and get those put away because there's only a little bit of that that you need to see um, but this is it goo gone it's just what I'm using. Um, we used it for a project in the house and it worked well. But that's my succulent all done and de-kitted. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll speak to you all again soon.